Hi guys, this is Polaris Sector, and I'm going to try and do a Let's Play. I don't know if it will work, because uh, this is a 4x uh, game, uh, so it could be a bit uh, slow, but uh, let, let's let's give it a go. So we'll start a new game. Uh, there's a number of different types of galaxy, but I'm going to go with just the, the elliptical one. Uh, we'll go for 10 races. Uh, yeah, we'll stick at sort of 410 uh, stars. It does go all the way up to 1,000. Uh, but let's not be too greedy. Tunnel density, I did have reduced that down a little bit, um, and uh, that just helps to create sort of uh, choke points, um, which can be sort of defended and attacked. Research speed, yeah, we'll go for a slow research speed. And then I've previously reduced the 3D shape down to zero, because the uh, 3D element of the galaxy doesn't really seem to do anything. Unlike in, for example, Sword of the Stars, the, the first one where it, uh, it really did affect things depending on what drive you had. And I've got rid of wormholes because I, um, they're only one way and they're a bit difficult to keep track of in terms of where they take you. I don't really like the way they've been implemented, so I'll get rid of those. Um, normal difficulty, leave all the other settings on. And we're going to go to race selection and I've already decided I'm going to be boring and stick with the human. It's going to go blue just because it's, it's a nice colour and um, there's a number of sort of race characteristics um, and um, what I'm going to do is just take down um, the espionage a notch because um, it costs you six rather than two um, and there's a number of sort of um, uh, kind of weaknesses that the the humans have and I can eliminate three of those weaknesses by just sacrificing my espionage a little bit and um, that is uh, the way we're gonna go so this is the the galaxy we're sort of in the in the top uh, of it and um, we've got one scout ship and one planet uh, which is an Earth-like uh, planet, and uh, what I want to do is I want to immediately build a new uh, scout ship. We'll get into things like ship design uh, later on, um, and uh, we'll change the name to Terra Prime, just so I can keep track of uh, my capital more easy, and we'll, we'll call this system Terra. Uh, right, so without further ado, let's head off. I need to uh, speed up a bit of time because it, it can uh, it can take a while to get things done in this game. Uh, research is done by basically you research these kind of theoretical uh, elements and then they unlock applied sciences. Now, for now, I'm just going to leave all of the sliders as they are in default and um, really focus on just getting a, as, as many good planets as we can, getting um, research facilities built and um, going for kind of uh, raw power initially rather than sort of being too picky on what we're, what we're researching. Um, nothing there. Um, so move on to the the next one so these are the sort of warp lanes i was talking about where um, you go from one uh, sort of cluster of uh, planets uh, or one star system to to another and um, you can see this one only had one way in uh, and out this one's had, got two and uh, so nothing nothing exciting there let's uh, let's go north i would like to try and uh, take over kind of a little uh, quadrant here where I'd have kind of a at least um, uh, sort of one sort of northern part of my empire which was sort of uh, we've got our backs to a wall effectively and uh, create kind of a safe zone uh, so we'll carry on going along uh, with my scout ship Let's speed things up a little bit uh, my second scout should be being built um, back on Terra Prime. Uh, it's going to take four years. Um, this game does try to sort of uh, portray the uh, the time it takes in a more realistic way, and um, ships do have fuel. That will be a, uh, a major issue and, and consideration. Just taking a drink whilst we uh, 
wait to arrive at the new place and uh, the Ain system, a desert planet, uh, an exhausted dwarf, nothing too exciting. Let's go to Vega. And a uh, Hemacidic planet, exhausted dwarf, gas giant, nothing, nothing too exciting uh, there. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's continue onwards. It, it, it is a, a very slow burn to get started this game, but if you if you enjoy your 4x um, space games, I, I, you know, I've I've been uh, certainly enjoying it. So we've got a, a hot planet here, which will become more interesting in the future because it generates these sort of special research points that we'll need to get in addition to uh, to the normal research. So we've run out of fuel. Uh, now we've got to go back to our own space in order to um, in order to refuel. Um, and I'll just put up the speed to hurry us along there because not much is going to happen at this point in the game. Though we are going to get our second scout. And you can put the speed up quite a bit because when uh, important events happen like the construction of a new ship it will automatically uh, pause for you. Um, now just because of my uh, previous experience in this game, um, there's um, there's a number of options to to build, but I'm not going to go for any of those right now. And instead, I'm going to come out of this screen, and we're going to design a new ship. And what I want to do is design a fuel hauler, and that's what we'll call it, a fuel. And basically what we want this ship to do is to resupply our scout ships and other ships to give them an extended range. Um, uh, so let's start with, there's a refueling module which uh, allows the ship to carry out that function. Um, now I'm going to put it in the middle there. Um, this, uh, this game is quite bad, I must say, if um, you've got anything like, uh, you know, sort of OCD and you want to get everything sort of nice and lined up, I, I do like to get sort of uh, symmetry in in my designs. Uh, sometimes it won't allow you to do that and that does get very annoying. But for now we've been able to achieve uh, sort of symmetry. We need fuel cells to give this ship uh, range, obviously, but it's going to have more fuel cells than a normal uh, ship was because that its whole purpose is to carry as much fuel as possible and to give that to other ships. So we're going to fill this deck up as far as we can uh, with um, with fuel cells, and you can sort of uh, see that um, already. I'm starting to get annoyed by a lack of sort of symmetry. There we go. We'll uh, we'll move that one across there. Um, the um, the design system in terms of um, how you place things is a little bit clunky. You can kind of click and drag to do multiple ones, but I've just found that um, it uh, often goes out of alignment and um, it takes more time to put things, uh, put things right. So let's see, I don't think we can fit any more on there. Now then, we've got a large power deficit as you'll see. So what we need to do now is put some uh, nuclear reactors in in order to, to generate power and these nicely fit in uh, three in a row. And uh, looking at this, this is going to take up most of this deck. Uh, let's see if we can get any more uh, fuel cells in there. We can, and we've still got power, so... Yeah, so we need to... Um, let's get rid of him, put him in there. And, uh, see? It's just... It's not even. It's very annoying. Anyway, let's move on with our lives. Armor, you can eventually upgrade the armor, obviously we're not going to do anything with that. Uh, engines, we've sorted out. Weapons, none on this. This is a civilian uh, vessel. and uh, So we'll come out of that, go back to Terra, build a new ship, 
fuel hauler. It's going to take eight years to do. So we'll leave that. Now our new scout ship, we'll send him on his way to Sham. Really what we're looking for here are uh, colonizable planets. Um, the game doesn't have sort of a huge depth um, in the sort of uh, sort of the particular star systems themselves, like say for example Stellaris, where there's no sort of asteroid fields and um, stations and things like um, like that, which are modelled in in great detail. Okay, so our explorers have sent back word that they found a planet in the Sham system, which seems to be similar to our own. So hopefully this is what we're looking for. And yes, it's got an Earth-like planet, which gives you uh, plenty of minerals, uh, science, and um, is much easier, obviously, for your people to um, to survive on. So what we're going to do is um, build a colonizer. Now that's going to take five years to build, and I'm going to move that up the uh, the priority because the sooner we can start expanding out the the better also when you colonize obviously you you expand your sphere of influence which effectively increases the range of your ships because they can come back to sham and refuel rather than terror uh, there's also which i didn't flag up about but i've noticed it an, an anomaly in the system so what we're going to do is we're going to explore that anomaly and it's given us 407 of radium which doesn't sound very exciting and indeed it's probably not but it is a uh, it's a rare metal that's used in ship construction and uh, basically the the more the better and our first scout ship has now refueled so we can send that out again um mira may well join up with B, so I'm just going to send the scout ship to an already explored one first to see what happens. And no, Mira doesn't. Uh, anything exciting there? No, not really. So we'll carry on that uh, particular journey and um, our scout ships will uh, continue on. And um... oh, so this one, oh, it's just simply telling me that there's a large number of um, hyperspace lanes and so it's going to be a strategically important star to hold. More importantly, however, we've got another Earth-like planet and um, that is, that's uh, brilliant. Um, and so again, I'm going to build another colonizer and again, it's going to um, be more important than our fuel hauler. And uh, let us journey onwards. This is why I, I didn't know whether the game would be um, sort of suitable for a YouTube yes, Let's Play, because the, the early part of the game is um, this sort of, uh, you know, basic exploration, really. But, um, you know, it's a key part of the, uh, the 4X um, games, obviously, the, the Explore being the the first part of the journey i i would say that of the four x's i've played the um the explore part in this game is particularly weak whereas for example in in stellaris i think it's uh, it's phenomenal you know it's very exciting to get out there and uh, explore the planets and they're all rendered in uh, wonderful detail but then stellaris breaks down later on that i found the battle system to be very uh, very simple you know you just slam one fleet up against the other whereas this has a great battle system and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get into that at some point um, and so this one has decided to tell me about the anomaly here and we'll explore that and it's helped us with our knowledge of biology which is great uh, no no interesting uh, planets there though um, I say no not interesting at the moment eventually we will be able to build domes and things which will make these uh, available um, so I don't want to sound I don't want to be too dismissive of them it's just at the moment we're interested very much in these earth likes and uh, he's run out of fuel so we need to send him back and uh, Epsilon Peacock, uh, nothing there for us. So let's uh, go on to Delta Peacock. And eventually maybe we we'll even get to Peacock itself. Anything in Delta Peacock? No. Uh, 
Can we reach? No, we can't. I did, I did wonder whether we would be able to. Okay, back for refueling. So yeah, you've got this kind of, um, you know, you go out as far as you can, and then you go back and refuel, and then uh, so this this kind of process goes on for a while. So I'm going to speed up the time to shove our uh, scout ships along, get them refueled, and uh, we've had a colonizer be complete. It's a bit annoying um, when you've got um, several ships queued up. It, it comes up with a little thing to tell you that it's been done, but it doesn't pause the game. There's a bit of a, a flaw there, I think. There's probably an option where I can tell it to do that. I'm just being ignorant. But um, anyway, we've got our colonizer, so straight away we want to be going out. And ah, it hasn't got enough fuel by... Uh, it needs 6,000 tons. I don't know, well, yeah, just over 6,000 tons, and it's got 11, so I'm very confused. Oh, I see. So it, it hasn't got enough to go there and get back to our space. Well, we don't really care about that, because it's going to set up a new colony for us, so sorry about that. I was being a little bit dim. Um, where should we go? Well, I say I really wanted to uh, try and get this area of the galaxy, so let's go... Let's go over here. Um, and I've slowed it right down now, so uh, let's speed things back up so that we don't all fall asleep. And it's arrived. So the scout, so let's go. Let's, can we get to Peacock? No, we cannot. Um, okay, let's go to Beta Peacock. Well, you know, if you can't get to the main Peacock, go to the Beta one. And right, so we've arrived at Sham with our colonizer, and you click colonize and Sham. And um, then the uh, game presents you with um, basically an uh, option to take away the micromanagement. I, I found it to be uh, pretty good, to be honest, in terms of what it builds, but I am quite the newbie, so I'm not really speaking with much authority. Um, looking at this planet, um, it's great for science. So let's turn it into an innovation planet and start cranking out the um, the research. Um, and uh, let's uh, wind the game forward. And again, uh, another colonizer has been built. Uh, so let us send him on his way. Or her on her way, I suppose. It could be. Well, perhaps there's, uh, perhaps it's them. Perhaps there's 500 men and 500 women uh, in order to uh, populate a new world. Who knows? Um, let's move that there and on to answer. Okay, so a new star system. Again, nothing, nothing exciting. And we've encountered a fleet, uh, uh, which is a little bit annoying because I was kind of hoping I'd have this area of space to myself. Who are they? We don't really know yet. So let's just pop down the speed. Um, and this is uh, a handsome, handsome chap. Uh, attention, unknown ship, you've invaded the territory of the great Ugin. Hegemony, uh, respond or we will attack you. Uh, we are messengers of the Earth Federation. Please do us the honor of setting up a meeting with your government and accepting modest gifts from our home planet. Uh, we welcome our star brothers, uh, represent blah, 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 blah. Uh, citizens of a great state and your threat is a waste of time. Put us in touch with your government immediately. Um, well, I don't really know about these uh, these people and their attitude. Their attitude is neutral, so let's let's be... Yeah, let's be friendly. Uh, are they freedom loving? That's, that's, that's good to know. Um, and that's that's it for the the first uh, bit of discourse. We don't know where their home system is yet. Um, and again, the uh, perpetual fuel problem. So let us uh, head back. And I haven't actually set my other scout on a journey yet either, but I suspect it's going to also 
have to go back in order to get anywhere interesting. This is a, a dead end, so if we can close this area of space off, we might have those sort of uh, safe areas that I was looking for. In the meantime, the planets will be getting on with uh, building factories, uh, hopefully getting my fuel hauler done eventually, and uh, let's speed up time to move the, uh, the scouts onwards. And we should have our third world, our second colony, soon to be established. There we go. Again, with, with colonization, um, it's not particularly interesting in terms of the, the process. It's more um, interesting in the, in the sense of where it will get us later on in the game. So for this one, we've got um, you know fairly decent um, production. Uh, science is, is okay. Um, food is okay. I'm going to go for industrialization. Let us make a, uh, a large factory world with plenty of orbital installations and uh, so we can crank out uh, ships and, and uh, other things for us, space stations, etc. Um, so you'll see the borders have um, expanded quite a bit now and this is because uh, you can't get to Mira without coming through one of our planets and likewise with uh, this one. So it um, it expands your borders out to reflect kind of the, the planets your gatekeeper to, whereas um, these haven't become ours because other people could theoretically get to them until we've uh, explored the various uh, star lanes and uh, closed them off. So let's continue onwards and get our scouts refueled and let's get them... Can we get to Peacock? Yes, yes we can, finally. So let's get out there. Um, perhaps what I should be doing is pushing more down this way because I can perhaps explore these at my my leisure but I don't want to be too uh, complacent on that front in fact can we get over here at all hmm, not really too much let's um, let's send him in that direction let's check on these building factories and the fuel hauler is one one year away. That's that's quite quick, in this terms of uh, the scale of this game. And uh, great. So our fuel hauler has now been completed. And what we'll do is we'll send him to Rosales, uh, and uh, then our scout ships can come back and uh, restock there. Um, on Terra, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new colonizer in, in, in the hope that we uh, we find another world to colonize so i'm going to uh, plan in an optimistic way i'd be very disappointed if we can't find something else oh and uh, peacock we've we've been looking to get there for quite a while um it's an oceanic uh planet um they're not very good um at the start of the game because um they basically either give you food uh, or science, um, generally. Um, their production, whilst this shows its uh, increase of 10%, there's only six um, spaces, basically, for, for factories. Um, and so this is going to become, uh, when we colonize it, an agricultural world. And they're, you know, they're very good for producing food. Um, but we don't have the technology to build... Um, sort of hydro hydroponic uh, farms, effectively. Um, so they're quite good to, to get hold of um, in the sense that you want to grab them now, but they won't be cranking out um, food for us uh, for, um, for, for for quite a while. Um, so you, you always want to prioritize the Earth likes. Um, so let's get him back there to um, see what See, we're getting refueled, and I've just been a bit distracted because we've uh, found another anomaly, which uh, let's research. And we are, we've got some um, film physics knowledge. Um, and again, let's let's go back and uh, hopefully rendezvous with the uh, the fuel hauler, get some more fuel, and uh, expand our, uh, our knowledge of uh, the galaxy a little more. 
Uh, right, so I can refuel from the tanker, but what I want to do is just make sure my tanker itself can get back. So I want to reserve, just to be safe, five 5,000 fuel for this ship. So hopefully it should never uh, go below that in terms of its own stores. So let's refuel from the tanker. And again, refuel that one. And uh, let's uh, continue to try. See, we're, even with that refueling, it's... Um, uh, it's because the tanker. Okay, well, uh, at least the um, at least the reserve worked, so the tanker can be ordered to go back. Um, but the fuel isn't really sufficient to get us much further, which is really disappointing. So we may as well go and get a full stock. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll go out and explore some of uh, some of those stars. So our fuel hauler has at least uh, reached where we want to do. I will send it to Bede um, just to try and uh, make sure we can uh, finally explore the peacocks. And our scout, our second scout is also. And we've completed a new colonizer. Now the question is whether we go and grab that uh, oceanic world and. Uh, I think we do. I think we do. Um, so I will, but I'm already just being ultra optimistic. Gonna queue up a new, a new colonizer because um, you know we are exploring and we are expanding as much as possible. So we'll send him on to Razalas. Anything up here in Gamma Peacock? Nope. And Zeta Peacock. Uh, so he won't have enough fuel to get back to our own space, but I'm hoping that the fuel hauler can kind of come to to the rescue. This is a bit of a gamble, um, but we'll we'll take it. Epsilon Aquila, nothing interesting there, uh, but it does allow us to to go onwards. Gruminum. Um, so yeah, some some a desert planet which is useful later on, just not terribly useful right now. But we can uh, continue on and see what else we get. Iota Centaurus, no, a gas giant. No. So Alizir is uh, another kind of important system in the sense that it gives you access to to several others, and there's some debris. So let's explore that. And we've got 625 of gravitonium, which is another one of these minerals that uh, are needed to build build ships and, and various other things. So let's explore onwards, and our fuel hall has arrived at. Uh, now so let us what we'll do is we'll leave the fuel hauler there we'll get the colony ship to to travel onwards and uh, restock now then just looking at this how much fuel is actually needed to get back Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase the reserve just to make sure I can because um, when I'm at one of my first games as a, as a complete newbie to this I did, I did get ships stuck out in the in the voids of space um, Quite frequently. Uh, so again, desert planets not really useful right now. We'll become so later. Let's explore. Ah, biology. Um, so I'm going to call this one to a halt here and uh, we'll pick it up in the next video.